Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the performance of the Int Super Saiyan God SS Vegeta and the Super Saiyan Trunks Future in, well, Red Zone against Metal Core Cooler. Now something I'd like to say here is I rank these guys as number one in my LR tier list and quite frankly I would probably rank them at number one again. Uh, I just think these guys are awesome. I will admit I am biased. I love Trunks as a character and that's never going to change. So yeah, I do indeed love Trunks a lot and I think he's the coolest character ever. So unfortunately that bias does exist but I still think they are pretty much number one. Uh, to kind of recap them, obviously we're taking a look at them. Uh, I have a dupe in mine and there's a 100% one as a friend lead. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at them at basically this entire event, uh, but essentially they're just fantastic. So Bond of Parents and Child as a category is incredibly strong. Uh, quite frankly, it's probably one of the strongest in the game. You have every Goku, Gohan, Pan, Trunks, Vegeta, uh, Grandpa Gohan, um, pretty much everyone but Piccolo's are on this category and you have Future Saga to kind of cover a little bit from that perspective. The 30% Battle of Fate category is uh, okay. Um, I think Battle of Fate is alright. There's some cool interesting characters that are covered by that and make it a nice 200% lead. Uh, you've got like AGL Team Go, you've got uh, obviously a couple of Gokus there. Uh, so you do have some decent coverage. Uh, one nice thing is you have Physical Beast Han, who's obviously there as well. So I think overall it's actually a pretty, pretty cool, pretty good, uh, you know, leader skill overall. Super Attack, they raise attack and defense on their 12 key, raise attack and defense permanently on their 18 key. They will activate the entrance animation once only, have key plus 2, defense is 70% and guard all attacks for 5 turns. When there's another bond, the parent and child category ally, attacking in the same turn. They have key plus 2, attack and defense of 140% and they launch an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. They will get up to 5 additional key, defense of 15% up to 75% and 35% crit chance with each attack received. They also have an additional attack and defense of 70% and guard all attacks as the first attacker in the turn. So, to get a long story short, these guys are really really good. Uh, they can have 35% crit chance, medium chance of additional super. They have a huge amount of defense, they have guard and all of this at 55%. Their active skills also very good, massively raising attack, temporarily causing ultimate damage and giving all attacks critical hits and raising their allies defense by 20%. Activation conditions for these are pretty simple. If you have a future Saga category character, you can just activate it from the third turn. Uh, if everyone in the turn is future Saga, when your HP is 50% or less, starting from the fifth turn, you can activate it anyway. Links wise, they're also pretty good. They link pretty well with units like AGL Gohan, but also like Tech Goku and plenty of other great allies. They have the same warrior race, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Same Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, all super common. And Royal Lineage and Dismal Future help them amongst their future team, and obviously a Vegeta team. They're not on a lot of categories, and I think this is their only real downside. They are only on Future Saga, Time Travelers, Joint Forces, Vegeta's Family, Bond the Master and Disciple, Battle of Fate, Bond the Parent and Child, and Superheroes. But, for me, they're on enough really strong categories and they themselves lead possibly one of the strongest category teams in the game. So beyond that, now that we've kind of discussed everything about them, the real question we want to ask is, do they have a distinctive weakness? Well, they do have a couple things that are not too great about them. Uh, one, they have to be played in the first slot. I know it seems very weird to complain about a unit that has to be played in the first slot, but we'll have a guard in that position. The big reason why people see this as a weakness, and I can understand it to a certain extent, is if you look at events like Shenron, for example, Shenron Red Zone, uh, you always going to be attacked in the third slot by Shenron. So having your best defensive unit tied to the first slot is a little bit of a hindrance. This is the case in some events, but what a lot of people do appreciate and what I appreciate the most is they effectively lock down the first slot. 
So if you are a player that you know, wants to run at double Trunks and Vegeta, you basically have the first slot locked down on both of your rotations, which, to be honest, is a huge strength uh, with this team. There are plenty of teams that do not have the capability to do this, and it, by having this covered by literally your two leads, it's incredibly good for their team overall. So Trunks and Vegeta from that perspective are very, very solid. The only other uh, kind of negative is that their offense is good, but never great. Uh, the 35% crit chance is fantastic and does help them a lot. The active skill helps a lot as well by guaranteeing critical hits and boosting the allies defense. But even then, with their stacking, they don't get to huge heights. I think seeing 6 or 7 million out of them is probably uh, I don't want to say par for the course, but it's probably good from them. So yeah, I think yeah, overall damage is maybe where things might be a little bit pear-shaped. Uh, if you take a look at them here, uh, in this situation, yeah, they're going to do decent damage. Uh, nothing wrong here, 6.5 million, it's okay. Uh, they have the decent crit chance, of course, not a lot of links active, but still, it's not huge. Of course it scales, with every 18 key you get, they technically go up, and their offense gets stronger and stronger, but it's not massive. You know, considering you can see 11 million, 12 million, uh, I don't want to say frequently, but pretty well nowadays, I think in general it's not a huge attack stat. And so, you know, personally for me it's not a letdown, but I think, you know, that is probably their weakest point. But I think overall the benefits you gain from them, the active skill, the power of the active skill, the viability of the unit, I think everything like that is incredibly good. And I think personally speaking they can look really really good uh, overall. You know, uh, yes okay, here you're going to see them tank a super, but obviously uh, you know, they're going to tank it pretty well. Metalcore Cooler hits probably, I think he's the second or third hardest hitting boss in the game. Uh, yeah, I, I think he's the second hardest hitting boss in the game. And they're gonna tank more than fine. Um, so yeah, honestly speaking, I think they're a great unit. Um, yeah, honestly, I think they only get better and better. Uh, I think their team is strong. And yeah, I, I'm personally very, very, very chuffed. I finally got my hands on this unit. Uh, I can tell you right now, I've completed, I think, six red zone no item runs that I've never been able to do before, simply because I got this unit. Uh, and their team build and just everything else I can do with their team is very, very good. And those will be coming on the channel. Uh, just, I think people will be interested to see them. Uh, but yeah, definitely a couple really cool no item runs all kind of done, sealed and dusted behind the strength of this unit. So I think overall, I'm very, very happy with their performance. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. Let me know what you guys think, and I'd love to hear it. But I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, take care, stay safe, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.